Good afternoon, and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. Today, we celebrate the wedding of Natasha and Mason. We ask that all present respect the instructions given by our ushers and the guidelines in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19, including using hand sanitizers, maintaining a distance of two meters, and wearing face masks when entering, leaving, or moving within the church. The wearing of masks is optional while seated. Our presider today is Father Cecil Critch. Please stand. Please turn off your phones, thank you. Our opening hymn is Sing a New Song, 563 in the Catholic Book of Worship. Sing a new song unto the Lord, the 
of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And welcome, everyone. Welcome, Father. Mason and Natasha, the church today shares your joy and warmly welcomes you, together with your families and friends, as today in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this your joyful day. May he send your help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. And we pray together. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness pour out your grace on these your servants, Mason and Natasha, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated now for our readings from Scripture and the first reading from Genesis. A reading from the book of Tobit. On their wedding night, Tobias got out of bed and said to Sarah, Sister, get up and let us pray and implore the Lord that he may grant us mercy and safety. So she got up and they began to implore that they might be kept safe. Tobias began by saying, Blessed are you, O God of our Father, and blessed is your name in all generations forever. Let the heavens and the whole creation bless you forever. You made Adam, and for him you made his wife Eve as a helper and support. From the two of them the human race has sprung. You said, it is not good that the man should be alone. Let us make a helper for him like himself. And now, <clears throat> I now am taking this kinswoman of mine, not because of lust, but with sincerity. Grant that she and I may find mercy, and that we may grow old together. And they both said, amen, amen the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Psalm 25, to you, O Lord, I lift my soul. my 
for the second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you are called in the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand.
and has trusted us with the news of redeeming love. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. And Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And please be seated for a few minutes. So a little reflection on the readings today. So if you'd all put your attention up here now to me, and I will just have a little reflection on the words of the Gospel today in the readings. Mason and Natasha each one of us is a precious gift in the eyes of God and your calling. Mason and Natasha, today your vocation to marriage and family life is a very important gift for our world. And I just reflect sometimes when our Pope, our current Pope Francis celebrated a wedding. It was a big wedding for 30 couples in St. Peter's Basilica. Uh, and he said to them, very importantly, he said that in marriage, the couple complete one another each makes each other a better person. He says that is what marriage is all about, a man and a woman walking together, wherein the husband has the task of help, has the, helps his wife to become a better person, a more woman, and wherein the woman has the task of helping her husband to become every more a man. So Pope Francis also talked about three simple secrets to a successful marriage. And you say, well, this is not very big news. So he says the secrets to a successful marriage are three things in your mind. Keep them there. He said, please, number one. Number two is, thank you. And number three is, I'm sorry. <laughs> please, thank you, I'm sorry. Sorry, they're the secrets to a successful marriage. Well, please, may, may I, having courtesy and respect for one another, thanking you, having a spirit of gratitude and thankfulness for each other and what you do for one another. I'm sorry means recognizing our mistakes and forgiving each other. Simple, but not as easy to do every day, is it? Each of you is a special gift of God to the other, and the best wedding gift I always tell couples you give to each other is the gift of your love for one another. And strive every day to grow in forgiveness, compassion, and love for one another. another. And be good examples of loving deeds to your people around your family, especially children and those in need that you meet, especially the poor and the forgotten of society, how we have to be in families, you know, open to that. The reading today from Colossians, the people of Colossae in Greece that St. Paul wrote to, he says that love is not merely sim sentimentality, that doesn't last very long, but love is an action word that we choose to love, we love as Christ loved us by laying down our lives like he did for us. And that means, Mason and Natasha, we pray for you today in your marriage that you will continue to be like that, unselfish and sacrificial, that it will continue to be for you an experience of the love of God as you continue to bring the compassion, tenderness, mercy, and love of Jesus to other people. We pray that you, for you, Mason and Natasha, that in the sacred bond of marriage, God's grace will continue to enter your lives every day and Christ will always be present in your midst. And may the Holy Spirit continue to dwell in your hearts and home as you continue to help each other to grow to be better people, people of God. Mason and Natasha, keep your gift of love ever new by staying close to Jesus through prayer. Don't forget that. This will give you the courage and strength to face the troubles that married life often brings. Relationships that survive challenges are a visual lesson about God's unconditional love 
which is faithful always in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, whether you are rich or poor, all the time, no matter what. So we thank you for the witness of your love today, and may God bless you all the days of your life. I'll ask the bride and groom and the two witnesses to come forward, please. Just come up here and uh, under here. Come up here, please. Just turn around and face the people. Thank you. That's good. And then you can sit to you can go from this side. And I'd like for you to just hold on to these for me. Thank you. Appreciate that. We have come rejoicing today in the house of the Lord. We have come together in the house of this church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you already. Through a special sacrament of marriage, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so, in the presence of the church, I will ask you to state your intentions. Mason and Natasha, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? Are you prepared, as you follow the path of marriage, to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and the church? Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, declare your consent now before God and his church. May the Lord, may the Lord in his time of strength and consent you have declared before this, graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing. As God joins together, let no one stop. <laughs> bless these rings which you will give to each other as a sign of your love and fidelity. So I'd ask the person who's doing the intercessions, the general intercessions, to come forward for the prayers of the faithful, the universal prayer. Hillary, I think it's.
please stand now as we offer our prayers for this couple today, a married couple today. God's blessings on them this special day. The response to the prayers is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That every day of their lives, Natasha and Mason may renew their desire to grow in love for each other and the gift they make of their very selves today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all married couples, that God will help them grow in love for each other and the gift they make of their very selves. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, for all God's people, that through this celebration we may all grow in our desire to serve and love the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, that the world we live in and are called to serve may be and lived by the presence of God shown forth in the love of men and women. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community, for ourselves and for each other, that we may accept the challenges placed before us today and make love our way of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family members and friends of Natasha and Mason who have gone to their rest in the peace of Christ, that they may live in the peace of Christ forever in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our special blessing on the couple today, I would ask all of you to raise your hands in blessing on the couple, please. Just raise your hands in blessing. Appreciate that. Thank you. Everybody up here, too, as well. No, you're, you're okay. Holy Father, maker of the whole world, who created men and women in your own image, and will that their union be crowned with your blessing, we beseech you humbly for these, your servants, Mason and Natasha, who are joined today in the sacrament of matrimony. May your abundant blessing, Lord, come down upon this bride, Natasha, and upon Mason, her companion for life. And may the power of the Holy Spirit set their hearts aflame from on high, so that living out together the gift of matrimony, they may enrich your church and adorn their family. In happiness, may they praise you, O Lord. In sorrow, may they seek you out. May they have the joy of your presence and assist them in their toil and know that you are near to comfort them in their need. Let them pray to you in the holy assembly and bear witness to you in the world. And after a happy old age, together with the circle of friends that surrounds them, may they come to the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now we have the sign of the doctor. Love is found and hope comes home. Sing and be glad that you are one. When love explodes and fills the sky, praise God. in trust and care fill both each day that love may dear to reach beyond love's warmth and light to serve and strive when love is tired as love once change hold still to hold so all seem strange till he's returns and love grows wise to
trust betrays. Pray strength to love while torments fade. Till lovers keep no score of wrong and here through pain. Love's Easter song. Praise God for love, praise God for life, in age and youth, in calm and strife, lift up your heart, let love be fed, to death. Great job. It was beautiful. Blessing, blessing on the family here today. May God, the Eternal Father, keep you with one heart and love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. May you be blessed in your children. Have solace in your friends and enjoy the true peace with everyone. May you be witnesses in the world to God's love and charity, so that the afflicted and needy who have known your kindness may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. And may Almighty God bless all of you here today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you our married couple, Mason and Nata Natasha White. Right. <laughs>